in our government through science, technology and innovation in the office of the presidency has pledged support to youth IT innovators in the country in a bid to improve their innovations and for the country to shift to the technological world. Dr. Cosmos Mwikirize, the head industrial value chains, development of science and technology and innovation in the office of the president, echoed this while empowering youth to engage more in technology, this at Isbat University. Uganda's Vision 2040 targets a digital world where the public can access services in a digital and technological way to create employment opportunities for youth. The head industrial value chains development of science, technology and innovation at the office of the president, Dr. Cosmas Kwikizira emphasizes the need for home-based technology. Can the technology that supports such a cottage industry be developed here? If we're saying smart agriculture, if someone is able to, to let's say, monitor their beehive in, in real time, and that increases productivity, can we make that technology that monitors beehives here local? Our goal is to, is to develop the technology here that can... Uh, then proliferate these programs that we have that the government has put in place uh, to improve productivity and livelihoods right at the grassroots. Professor Dr. K. M. Matthew, the Vice Chancellor, is but University emphasizes the need for youth to acquire employable skills with knowledge which can be utilized to solve day-to-day -day issues. Our aim is to give a creative idea to our students for innovation, their, idea, their ideas, technological ideas. Our aim is not to create job seekers, but to create job providers to the Ugandan youth. So with the training they get here, so they are converting the knowledge to resolve the real-time issues. This joystick controlled robot is used in hospitals. What we have is a path following automated robots. Because it can be applied in industries, sort out those wastes. Irene Faith Nantongo, Robert Katamba, UBC News.